Hey guys, TechBiz here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your motherboard BIOS. So, let's jump into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a USB flash drive, and it can sort of just be anyone. Um, this is an 8 gig one I found in the drawer, and it's just empty and not being used, so I'll use that. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is consult your motherboard manual to find the USB port that is optimized or primarily used for BIOS updates. Now, on a Gigabyte motherboard, or at least this one specifically, it is actually the red port, which is hiding away in there. Plug that in, and as you can see, you've got a notification showing that it is popped up. So now, you've got the drive sitting there, and what you're going to want to need to do is clean out the drive and make sure that there's nothing on it, just absolutely nothing, it's just a plain old USB drive. Um, ignore that. Yes, delete Ubu Tech Biz. Next, you're going to want to go to Google Chrome and search for your motherboard manufacturer and the motherboard type that you got. Now for me, this is going to be the Gigabyte Aorus B450M motherboard. Hop over onto the website, and then you're going to want to come over to this page here, which is usually titled Support. Now that you're in the Downloads tab, what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see something along the lines of BIOS. Click on that and usually you're going to want to download the most latest release of the BIOS. Uh, so that for us is going to be F64B and basically what these will do is they'll unlock certain capabilities like smart access memory or Ryzen 5000 support. So you want to download that. Next you're going to want to find your download in the downloads tab. Find the zip. Then what you're going to want to do is grab this file. It's usually named something like B450MAE or something along the lines of what your motherboard is. And all you have to do is drag that across and that'll copy. Now that you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to restart your PC. But while you're doing that, you're gonna to wanna to furiously mash the delete button so that you boot into the BIOS. As you can see, we've booted straight into the BIOS. Now every BIOS is going to be a little bit different, but most are going to be pretty similar. Now for us, we're going to want to come over to QFlash down here. As you can see, you can click Update BIOS, and then you'll see automatically it will detect that on your USB stick you'll have the BIOS update file. Then you'll want to click that. And then it will simply let you start it. Now I'm not going to start it because I've already updated my BIOS. But all you have to do is click run and make sure your PC does not turn off. Otherwise your PC could literally just brick up. Um, and it is very hard to restore. So yeah, you want to be a little bit wary when doing this. But I think for the most part it should be fine. If you have a UPS then you'll be absolutely fine because that will keep the power going if the power does go out. But I would say, if you don't have power outages often, you're pretty safe to do this. That concludes the video. If you did enjoy or this video did help you in any way, shape or form, could you please like and subscribe? That helps out the channel a lot. Thank you, I'm TechBiz, and I'm out.